Sadly, today we've got a couple of sick people. Rebecca slept next to the toilet all night, and James has got permanent camp set up next to the toilet in here for puking. Not feeling too good. I puked. Did you puke? Okay. All night. Well, you need to sleep then. So I was in bed trying to fall asleep, and then I started to feel pity. Then I puked in the toilet. And I started to yell, "Mom!" And then I was just up all night puking in the toilet. That's no fun. Well, make sure you drink a lot of water and I just rest. Stay in here, okay? Water. How are you guys feeling? Are you guys feeling okay? Okay, well then Corbin, I need you to actually get ready for the day because we got some fun stuff going on for you actually. Yeah, so actually maybe it's not necessarily fun stuff, but you have to go to physical therapy today. Do you know what physical therapy is? I don't want to be. Corbin walks on his tiptoes a lot, and so we're going to go check him in. Make sure you're not stepping on your tiptoes now. So we're going to take him in and see if maybe they have some exercises or something they want to do to help him try to get back into a better habit. There's lots of clean clothes right here. Are these yours? Will these fit you? I think those are going to fit you. And then also, you actually have soccer tonight. So we're going to ask the physical therapist if you can still go to soccer, but his first game is today. Mine? Yeah. I already have a game. That was just a practice. You need to make sure you've got your jersey and your soccer shorts and your cleats and your shin guards and everything ready to go for when we got that game tonight. I don't know where my shorts are. Okay, well you're going to have to start looking. You got all day to find them. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I guess we'll find out, huh? Are you nervous? Mm -hmm. Do you know what they're going to do? They're going to look at your legs, and they're going to look at your muscles, and they're going to feel them, and they're going to have you do stretches, probably, and just kind of see how things are going. I'm You're going to do good, dude. Let me see you try to touch your toes. Pretty good, pretty good. That was fast. That was good. Okay, come on in and have a little seat. I'll be with you in just a minute. Good job, dude. I tried that not to be on my tippy toes. Good job. So that he can just really stretch that gastro. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I'm going to give you a paper for that. All right. All right, Corbin, dear. Show me what you got, big boy. What'd you get? Sour Patch, yeah. Lucky Duck. The physical therapist took a look at everything. We had him do some exercises and some stretches and yeah. she said it looks like he got into a bad habit where he was tiptoeing a lot. There's no pain or problems, but she just said make sure you're stretching. You gotta do stretches every day, twice a day. And she says soccer should actually help him a lot. I have to do this like for 20. Show me what you have to do. I have to do this 20 seconds. Where you, so this is normal, right? And then hold him up. So yes. we have to hold them up so, for 20 seconds of time. So this is what I have to do. A day I have to do like two times in a day uh -huh. and two times at night. That's right, exactly. So just learning about maintenance and good stretches and good habits, breaking old habits, and he'll be just fine. So that's exactly what I thought we'd hear, but we just wanted to make sure there were no other problems. So I'm really glad to hear everything's going to be all right. I'm going to see these boats. Till I get home. Okay, but be careful. There's a lot of sickos at home, and if you eat a lot of sugar, then you might get sick. All right, Corbin, tell me if you recognize this place. Um, Does this place look familiar to you at all? Yeah. What, why? How do you recognize it? Where are we? So we are going to a place that I haven't been to this place in years. We've driven past it lots of times, but we've never driven to it. What is it? It's a place that we used to live. Yeah, we're gonna drive by the old storage units. Rebecca and I, we used to manage storage units here. Right there. That's not a storage unit. That's right. We used to manage these storage units right here. That's right. And, you, and we lived in that house right there. We lived in that house. Every day you would leave and go take care of the storage units. That's where we used to live. We used to live there and we managed all those storage units. So this is what happened. What, when 
that. That was a good job. I used, to, I used to really love doing that. This is what happened when that happened. So every day when they woke up and got ready, they got ready and then went to the storage unit and then took care of it mm -hmm. every morning. Okay, guys. I'm going to my first soccer game. But it's not soccer practice, it's my first soccer game. I'm nervous. It's my team against another team. A, a game that's really fun. I'm gonna listen to my coach. Look, that's all that dad got. There are snacks. These are what shirts I got. They look cool. And my, I got new socks for me and my stuff. If I wouldn't have had these, then I would probably not go to soccer. Well, we're here for a soccer game today. Corbin's really excited and he's nervous, but he's practicing with his team right now and they're having a lot of fun, just kicking the ball around, getting some good dribbling practice. <laughs> You ready, dude? You're playing goalie. Don't let the ball in the goal, okay? That's most important. Good job, buddy. No, stay in the goal. Protect it. Here, you gotta watch for that ball. Good kick, dude. Okay, it's out. Good. Corbin is not the goalie anymore. He's playing front forward, so we're gonna see some more action right now. See if he can make a goal or something. So far, Corbin's team is winning one to zero. Okay. Corbin, watch the ball, Corbin! Look at the ball! Second half is about halfway done. Corbin's taking his first time out from the game. They've got two extra players, so he's taking a turn sitting down for a bit, which I think is good for him. He needs a break every now and then. I'm gonna give him some juice here that'll help him fuel up a little bit. Good job out there. Way to run, dude. You're doing awesome. You having fun so far? You're doing great, man. Okay, don't drink too much. You're gonna get sick. Here, I'll take the rest. Good job. We're taking a quick time out. Watch your team. Watch how they play. Watch how they watch the ball. Pay attention to what they do and see if you can learn something from them. Here it comes. Corbin, get the ball. Help him get a goal. Oh. Woo! That's right. Good job, dude. Okay. Okay, go be with your team. Be with your team. We don't really care about the score, but what did we do good? Give me one thing. Ooh, I think we improved the second half. Hey, let's go give him five, and then I think there's treats. Go give him five. Yeah, give him five, guys. Line up. Give him five. Line up. Good job. All right, I got juice boxes for everybody, and I got some cookies and oranges and cheese sticks. Do you guys like cheese sticks? Yeah. All right. Thank hey, you. you're welcome. Hey. Good game, guys. Good job. How was that, dude? Did you have fun? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about it. We won, and there was a boy. He was running, and he poked me right here. Oh, yeah? It hurt so bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, but you were running really good. You got some good exercise out there and we got treats for the whole team. Everybody seemed really happy with that. You did a really good job listening to your coach and playing with your teammates and running and getting the ball. I saw you kicking it a few times. That was good. And you guys did a really good job. Are you excited for your next game? Good. Did you have fun? That's what matters most. When we were kids, just hanging at the playground. 